Hey everybody, so my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a message for the year 2020 since we are almost, almost to that time. So I want to look and see what's to come for all of us for 2020, okay? Or at least a little snippet or something, okay? Let us see what Spirit has to say. You guys, wanted to let you know I do have the I Am Essential Oils back in stock. So if you're interested, they are $8.88. The Reiki bracelets are $10. And the Unconditional Love candles are $15. Okay? And they look like this. So if you're interested, just contact me. That information is beneath this video. Okay? Let us see what information Spirit has for the collective for 2020. Let us see. Ooh. Well, it looks like the first month or so is going to be a transitional period, but that's, you know, not unexpected, is it? We have the sun card, okay? So abundance, prosperity, wealth, happiness, joy, all of that, joyous times with our loved ones. I also feel a lot of, um, uh, how do I put it? It's like the rainbow after the storm, okay? This message tried to come through yesterday, but I was having difficulty with recording and all of that stuff, but... This message is similar to that energy, okay? With the Five of Cups following up, I feel like abundance is what's making its way in. So, like I said, the first month or so is going to be a transitional period of transmuting those energies, okay? I really feel a lot of transitional uh, mindset. That's what I feel. Most important, 2020 is like a shift of the mind, okay? Shift of perception, if you will. So, I get that Two, from this being super, super, like, cloudy and, you know, gray and dark. Very sad energy here where a person is wanting rejuvenation to be restored or regeneration to come into a situation. Right? With this little stream of water here as well. <laughs> but I get with this sun card, just joyous times, happiness, clarity. Right? Peace. After going through that. Then with this Eight of uh, Wands in reverse. Alright? Representing, I feel, some of you could potentially be expecting some good news to come through. Okay? Prior to the new year happening. And you may just have to wait a little while for it is what I'm getting. Eight weeks specifically. So I'm getting like, like I said, the first few months or the first couple of months are going to be like a transitional period for you. All right. With this eight of wands in reverse, it's not going to feel like an easy transition from 2019 to 2020. However, with this death card here, transformation is to come. Okay. So I feel like we just have to be patient. We have the hermit card in reverse and we also have the knave of pentacles in reverse. These two energies following up that death card make me feel like a person is finally coming out of their shell okay and I also get this this how do I put it I don't want to say warning but kind of like a really strong message is coming through for us to be careful with what it is that we invest ourselves into once we do get that blessing okay because we don't want to repeat cycles right so like I said this year is really going to be huge with shifting the perspective or shifting the mindset okay yes abundance is there it's continual it's, it's um, infinite it's limitless all of that stuff right we are limitless beings etc however we should still still be very very cautious of where we're putting our energy where we're putting our pinnacle okay is what I'm getting here what we have at the bottom to assist with that yep seven of swords because as always when you have happiness and abundance in your life there will be people trying to swarm around you and get parts of what you have going on so use discernment okay use discernment then we have three of wands so i get that plans are going to work out really really well um like i said what what ended up not working out well is going to work itself out so i feel like <clears throat> This is Spirit's way of saying, you know, you will be tested to keep your mindset positive, to keep your, your hopes high, all of that type of stuff. We also have the Queen of Wands, and this is what I'm talking about. Like, the Queen of Wands carries a very, very high vibration. She keeps that, you know, that light energy, that happy energy. Everybody wants to be around her. All of the women love being her friend. All of the men are after her for romance, you know, purposes or physical purposes even. Because they find her so attractive and so alluring, right? Just because she's always happy. So this is Spirit's way of saying you will attract what you want with that shift of your mind so you have to let a certain type of mindset 
you know, thinking that you're in lack or thinking that you won't be able to do or thinking that you won't be able to move forward. You have to let that die in order to receive your true abundance, in order to receive the prosperity with your plans that you're aiming to get. All right. And then we did see, like I said, we did get that message about being careful as to where we invest our time, our money, all of that. OK, because the pinnacle does represent physical energy. All right. So things happening here on Earth. All right, things going on with your body, your health, all of that type of stuff, okay? So mental health, emotional health, spiritual health, all of that, your well-being is um, what that represents to me, okay? And then, yeah, with the uh, Hierophant popping out, yep, anytime we see this, this is the Divine's way of saying you're right on track, whatever you're doing is what you're supposed to be doing, you're right where you are, all of those things. With this being Roman numeral 5, 5 being Divine Guidance, okay? So a lot of sudden changes, things come into a close, but we do know that already with this death card we know there's a transformation of the mindset okay so that's what's going to be happening here a huge transformation of the mindset this could also be diving deeper into um spiritual practices all right Ooh, this could be diving deeper into spiritual practices we see the Ace of Wands in the Fool card. So, yeah, a lot of you may start practicing. A lot of you may also start crafting more. Okay. Okay, so this one, the Lover's card. A lot of communication is going to be coming through uh, from Spirit. That's what I'm getting here. I'm definitely getting a lot of divine guidance, especially when we have Archangel Raphael here. Okay, looking down. Um, on the lovers and kind of guiding them and what I always get from this is the masculine is looking down right so the masculine dealing with the physical energy and the physical aspect of things while the feminine is looking up and dealing with and discussing things with the angel okay so I feel like the the, the feminine being the intuitive one being the intuitive guide okay so the physical protector the intuitive guide the holy spirit the body right so divine guidance here guys okay this can also be um a literal divine feminine and masculine situation for some of us as well okay but this is literally having that capability to be able to do both i get very with those two cards together to me it's kind of like you know how you mix colors right this is like mixing tarot cards with with these two energies together i get magician energy okay with the hierophant and the lovers that's what i get from that all right Ooh. messages for the collective going into 2020 i feel like yep yeah, this is what i'm getting here okay for some of you too this may also represent marriage or union like i said a physical marriage or union your physical divine feminine and masculine uh situation if you're not legally married but you're in that type of harmonized union okay we do have the five of wands here and the four of wands in reverse so i feel like there's going to be this is what i mean here okay i'm, I'm getting it now spirit just gave it to me very clear loud and clear spirit okay <clears throat> When you have this here, you see how you have the lovers and they're talking up to spirit. They're talking up, right? They're talking up. You know what they say? When you want to level up, you talk up. You don't talk to people who are below you or people who are on the same level as you. When you want to level up, you talk up, right, to get that guidance. This is the energy that I'm feeling here. I'm feeling like if there's any outside forces in any situations that you have going on, whether that be your marriage, your relationship uh, with your friends, your family members, whatever, get the outside noise out of things, okay? This can also be um, your divine feminine and masculine uh, aspects within yourself, okay? So getting the outside noise in general to stop. Okay, like I said, a shift of the mindset instead of you needing validation and the, you know, validation from everybody else or caring so much about everybody else's opinion, you know, truly trusting your own and trusting that of the divine guidance and wisdom you're receiving from spirit. Right. So this is a really, really deep, 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 deep message. Okay, what do we have at the bottom here? We have the nine of wands. So I feel here um, and it's in reverse. I feel surrender. Okay, because the nine of wands to me upright gives a very defensive energy, but I feel surrender, especially with the five of swords here. Five of swords is like victory and the time on my clock, like the actual time just changed to 555 divine guidance. 
sudden changes, sudden happenings, everything I just said. That's also 15. So at the end of the day, it breaks down to six, which is this lover's card energy, right? So we went from the five to the six, okay, which is also synchronicity and alignment just from it doing that. From the four to the five, okay, a lot of synchronicity here, guys. Quite a bit, okay? And so like I said, with this five of swords here, while it being five, 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 victory, success, prosperity, you haven't won because you listen to that you listen to that divine guidance you listen to that inner voice you listen to your divine feminine your divine masculine you know you listen to each other you, you know you didn't listen to all the outside noise opinions etc right so you come out victorious at the end of the day yeah and in ways where you weren't able to move forward before you are now going to put that burden down because following that we have the will of fortune in reverse because that was stopping you, right? The people that were around you, because this is when you have close friends, things like that, you know, that are, that are near you, but they have ulterior motives. That's that energy, such as this five of wands. Okay. It's that energy. It was blocking your prosperity. So of course you're going to be careful of who and what you invest your energy into, right? Remember this pairing of cards? Because you realize why your blessings were being blocked. Literally. That's what the Wheel of Fortune is. Is things moving forward. The Star card being your blessings. You were unable to move forward with your blessings. It doesn't get more clear than that. And then we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. You weren't able to understand why. Because you had so much noise. You had this person's opinion. That person's opinion. That person down the street opinion. Everybody opinion. Right? But then we also have the Queen of Cups. This is representation of uh, your intuition. Alright? With the Temperance card. Moderation. Listening to yourself, not necessarily, like I said before, from one cup to the other, from this cup to this cup, right? Within this, within the union, not with everyone else is what I'm getting. Within the friendship, within the family circle, like you get what I'm saying? Listening to your intuition and realizing why you didn't have that emotional fulfillment. There was sneakiness going on. Seven of swords upright, ten of wands in reverse. Putting that down because guess what? Guess what you're able to see now? The truth. Two of swords in reverse. Six of wands upright. Now able to see the truth. For what it is, no sugar coat. Okay. Straight and no chaser. Right? Six of wands. Victory, success. And also what I love about this. I always say, with this card, there's that person in the back, you know, that looks like they're cheering you on and everything. But why are you all the way back here while everybody's up here? Are we all together? What are you doing? Why are you looking at me like that? Right? It's that type of energy. Because here you go. People always have ulterior motives. But you listen to the divine. And now you say, you know what? I don't want to invest my energy into that. And no, I will not take, nor will I accept, the faulty altar. Offer. <laughs> the faulty altar. Right. That also, because I feel like some of you are leaving one chaotic situation to be with your divine counterpart in 2020. And some of you are already with your divine counterpart and are going to be quieting out the outside noise to listen to what's going on inside. And letting spirit guide the way. Right. So either way, it's going to be great. There's victory and success that's coming after stagnation. And in justice, there's victory at the end. Alright. So I really like that. Quite a bit. And this is going to conclude the message. This was a quick, you know, little something. Let us know what's coming in 2020. You know, just a little taste. And it was quite tasty. If you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I would absolutely love to have you back. Otherwise... It was lovely to see you again. Peace and hair grease.